You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. Oh, from the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for the Real Housewives of New Jersey. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Real Housewives news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for the Real Housewives of New Jersey. What? <laughs> I love that you're just smiling. Go for it. All right. Welcome to Housewives of New Jersey. What's up, Courtney? How you doing, Christina? So nice to see you. I was afraid I was going to be by my damn self, girl. I made it, even with my half an eye. That's why I wear my glasses. Right oh, now. so beautiful. Glasses or not. My eyes all swollen, but not half as rough as your eyes going right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. I know. It's going hard in the yard. My table asked me, they're like, do you catch a case? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I was giving my kitten a bath, and he punched me out. Oh, well, at least you have a reason your kitten punched you out i have no idea why my eyes are crazy so you know whatever that's Beautiful why we're with glasses, glasses and sunglasses. Or without. that's right we there try to go. match it up here we're working it out today so tonight another teresa and melissa banter Snooze. apparently anybody can be a singer don't I mean, absolutely don't. anybody can be a singer so i'm working on my career right now hey. um, i'm gonna have dj jesse elegance is love <laughs> my friends uh you know Oh, I can't take it. It's awful. You know? It's so awful. Like, why are you... Good friends build each other up. They don't break each other down. Like, support her singing ass. Like, if she wants to sing, let her sing. Should we? Really? I'm. Well, she's family. We're or not. Or should we be honest? We're not. We should be if honest. If we're real good friends, their family. we should be honest. Absolute. That's Absolutely. what I'm saying. Absolutely. maybe that's not the best dream for you to pursue. But then definitely again, not me. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. I mean, so, her husband did buy her... A bajillion dollar studio in her house so he can keep tabs on her. Oh, Jersey. Yeah. How do we feel about that? I mean, I was kind of like, on the one hand, it's like, ah, he'll do anything for her. But the reality is, is he just doesn't want her out of the house. Yeah. He's like, no, I got you, bitch. And I've got you stuck in the studio. Which I can't be mad at because, I mean, if you got four kids, the reality is, is that dream need to be on hold for a little while. And honestly, he does buy her whatever she wants so i mean if that's a deal you guys worked out prior to marriage then exactly. i mean stay true to the contracts exactly don't be trying to change it up in the middle that's why people Hello. end up divorced so whatever go whatever's her name because i can't stand her melissa gorga melly mcmellon even though you were real stank for talking about i need a bedazzled sparkly microphone okay the rolex gonna sing? we're gonna go a little a little out of order if that's okay with yes, you we are so out of order holla because that rolex wasn't good enough for her. the studio wasn't good enough First, so he still expanded it. So she had enough room to change. She had it. a lot of room because you remember the old room. box was like a little rectangle, like, <laughs> and then suddenly she had an entire room. She had enough room to do the robot. For her and that moves, was about it. Was it. like, oh, I could do this. <laughs> like, boop, boop, boop. Exactly. So she got her big ass studio. Yes. And still has something to say because the mic was not bedazzled. Maybe we should get some bedazzled mics in here. I think bedazzled mics would be great in here, especially mm-hmm. for Project Runway. Just mm-hmm. FYI, just letting yes. you know. Yes. Um, but anyway, she just continues to make me not like her. Me too. I just, I can't help it. I and agree. I want to because I feel like there really isn't much she's done, I guess. But she's just one of them chicks that you'd be like, mm, I'm not feeling you. She, I mean, there's a... a l- it's not. There's a lot of hearsay on her being a, a gold digger, and I definitely picked that up. Do you? I, well, a part of me thinks... I want to believe she's genuine and authentic. Well, I feel like she really does like love her husband and her kids. and like like I feel like she's in it. Maybe in the beginning, I'm sure she was like, oh, my God. Like, he has all of this, and he'll do anything. And he probably mm-hmm. showered her with gifts. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sure that's how it was in the beginning. And that the Christmas is about giving. Money not- doesn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of can Christmas, we, been about can giving. we? 
can we talk about like I get that she was like she made she actually made okay we're talking about Melissa Gorga just in Please. case I don't know if oh, that was yeah. clear <laughs> she made the comment talking about it's Jesus's birthday it's Jesus's birthday it's that's Jesus's all she birthday. has to say but it's about it's about family and bringing the family together and giving not getting okay and right along with me, that to Teresa Miss I want my kids to know that it's not just about getting okay. oh honey you see our Mercedes it's a Mercedes I it's know. a Mercedes Mercedes is the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> you have no money, none, and your she naked was... husband. Can he put a shirt on? No. Can Joe Juicy Joe put a shirt on? He looked kind of sad. Today. He look, He is always sad this whole season, which I do. It's funny because Caroline Manzo was on Watch What Happens Live, which is Andy Cohen's <gasps> after show. Love me, some but it Andy. was last week. And they were talking about, like, oh, you know, are you feeling uh, Teresa's side? Or are you more on someone's uh-huh. side? And she totally gave a plug to Joe Judice, who in this entire season has sort of been a schlub. Like, he's been drunk. A he's bit. been topless. And he just looks like he's miserable and miserable to be around the I entire season. I might feel season. the same way, though, if I was going through he's, what But he he's going doing. through. And that's what Caroline said. She was like, you know what? He's really going through a lot. And he's really actually an awesome guy. And Keeping I don't think he shows that on camera at all. Like, we don't see him as the awesome guy on camera Maybe at in, all. like, the first season so a little bit but even more uh, yeah but she seemed to still like give a plug from like you know what he's going through a lot and he's trying to deal with it he's a great dude and that was caroline man that was caroline that That would be caroline and i but i I receive it i love her i receive it when it comes from her because i don't feel like she would say it exactly she wouldn't say it. my mama that's the christmas i wanted to be well yeah yeah because everybody else i don't even know we're all over the place but well grandpa gorga gives his little Great speech in the beginning, like his little toast. And he says, we have a great family. Let's stick together and God bless you all. I, was, I thought that was sweet. But then baby Joe Gorga says, sorry, we got to go to Kathy's house. Oh, snap. Whereas I understand that I'm sure the whole Kathy situation came up long before they even made up with Teresa. And like, and that's sort of where they go and what it's going to do. I, as annoyed as I was that Teresa was making an issue about it with him because I feel like she should have just let it go, I do believe that from him, he should have honored the fact that his parents were there. Absolutely. And stayed. That's just my opinion, though. I I definitely agree. Like, I I like how they're trying to make it work. No. They're trying. They're trying. And I get that, I don't know if trying is doing sometimes, but... So it's one of those things like it's like, yeah, you you already committed to Kathy, but I don't think you couldn't call Kathy and be like, you know what? My parents are here. They put a plate for us at the table. Aww. And I think maybe it would be better if I don't leave this time. And, you know, Teresa has something to say about that. Mm. <laughs> she was all pissed off that Kathy or that her brother was going to spend Christmas with Kathy rather than with her yes and he was trying to be like oh kathy you know aren't we all trying to you know bond and make up and like make it work and she was like well if kathy honestly cared about that shit, she would know to tell you you need to stay with your sister but really all all the uh gorgas were trying to do is make it work for their entire family like they're really making an well, honest effort i wonder because i think partially they were but i think the other part which was made obvious when melissa showed up at kathy's house like this is where we can let our hair down we feel like we're among well, strangers at there and i get it like you're she uncomfortable. seems very young to me do we know how old she is oh melissa yes she's like late 20s probably okay she seems very young to me i think she's late 20s maybe she's still learning she's retarded that's not (laughs) she's not she's not the brightest chick in the bunch is what i've decided the brightest bulb in the tanning bed i get that you like feel more comfortable you can let your hair down because those are the people that have been around you and been Mm -hmm. supportive but you if you're honestly trying to bridge that gap his parents were there at Teresa's house like that's one you should have just taken for the team and been like, you know what, honey, it's uncomfortable. No, we're not going to get to be drunk and comfortable like we always are. But maybe we should take this one for the team. And That's interesting. And I like that, that, you, that you're thinking in that direction. That's just my that was my take on it. Even though I definitely was annoyed that Teresa was like, I'm your sister. You should be here with your sister. I it's like, just drop it. Kid. Like he came, you know, he he's made the she, first step. Exactly. She should have received that he came and he brought his family and that was a step. And I think that he should have taken the extra step to say, you know what? You're right. We should stay. Hey, you know, that practice makes bad. perfect. But, you know, I think they're both bullheaded, obnoxious people. So. We were just talking about before this, like when you're really good friends or when you really care about people, you make shit happen. You make things yeah, work. You make it work. But make it work just like Tim Gunn. They're not trying to make it work right now. They're 
trying to get their drink on and have a party and hey and no offense like i mean i get it like it's family party whatever but it kind of made me chuckle a little bit because when they got to kathy's house they were like whip out the drinks and you then know? they did a shot of their baby like rolling around on the floor like where's mama like, uh-uh. <laughs> like all the grown-ups that is tossed. a born bartender right there honey <laughs> a born bartender it was kind of awesome and did you notice like mel was making comments about Grandpa Gorga. Okay, so not only did um, they not receive the message that way yes. that we wanted them to, with the parents being there, mm-hmm. but she Mel made a point to go up to Grandpa Gorga and be like, "Oh, well, you could call before." He's like, "Dude, I'm your father-in-law. I'll show up when I want to. I don't I'm use a freaking phone. I'm not 90 from here. and I barely speak English. Like, like give goodness. me a break." She, I feel like those little spurts make it harder for them to mend their differences. It, it does, of course, and because, and I know it sucks probably for her because, in her defense, I'm sure she gets the rough end of the stick and has mm. since she met Joe. But it's she actually, makes it, to, she makes it out to be like she's such an easy target for that. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I get especially when Teresa like told the story of how he was like engaged and like all these girls and then suddenly he was engaged to her and they were married like two months later so nobody mm-hmm. got to know her so i'm sure they're strong-minded women and italian they probably were not trying to receive this trick real okay. well you know I'm no sure, not at all i'm sure they gave her a hard time but that's kind of part of the hazing process but that's part of being that's, in a big ass family exactly. also like either you're in or you're out and it takes time to be received and you need to just go ahead and adjust and deal with it until mm-hmm. it happens because it will happen because they seem to be loving people for the most part but i hope so i think she just i don't know she don't, I don't like her she's on her own level that's our comment every mm-hmm. se- week i don't mm. like her and i got nothing else to say about that well then they moved to kathy's ex miss yes kathy kathy looked kind of diva like in her red dress as we can see and he, oh, she had she her sure she oh, and that like, bass. Yo, I was Scary. like, is it a fish? Is it a cow? Is it a pig? Like, oh. that was the biggest freaking whatever I've ever seen. You will not catch me in anything on the bone, honey. Really? That was cool. I mean, right it would be delicious, I bet. I, bet it's I mean, so it good. looks... It looks awful. Weird. It looks awful. <laughs> like, I don't necessarily want to look at and see that I what I was eating. Like, know that that was... Like, there's a head on it. It's like, and, that's Nemo. And Rich just ripped it off and put and it on it Joe's off. plate. <laughs> it was crazy. Gross. It was crazy, but... But uh, Caroline was discussing with... Who was it? With Jackie. Jacqueline. Yes. And she's like, should we invite them? Should we not? And then she's like, well, it's not Teresa's party. Yeah. So I, I thought that was cute, kind of. Yeah. Like Mama Manzo. Mama Manzo. Always running the show. We got a little gossip about you, Mama Manzo. Mm. But yeah, mm. so she, but it made sense. I mean, they're having a New Year's party. Obviously, they got the big uh, creepy fish from yeah. the brownstone. Yeah. And they said they do it every year. Like, they obviously know albert and have supported his business i so thought I that was really sweet that they should all be invited and be able to, i mean dang you can't it's all go about to collabos a, you can't just go to a freaking party and not even talk to each other like you it's know? a huge party like if you don't like them don't talk to them go over there like, exactly why? like we're understand. all adults here except i do understand with kimji don't invite that trip. oh because i she's she just, just a problem starter she starts crap because i will say melissa and joe like it's for as much drama as it is between them and Teresa. like i don't feel like they're purposely out attacking each other you can tell there's some kind of feeling in there yeah like, and Kim respect G will throw your her a monkey wrench up in your wheel yeah for no 2.7 seconds flat other than she needs some entertainment for herself exactly she's a twit, she's a twit. But uh, Kathy's kids were really supportive about her upcoming career in catering. Oh, that's beautiful. I thought it was so There's sweet. I kids. could not give a speech like that at 14 years old. Like, that was so heartfelt. And she's like, Mom, you know, we're really proud of you. And we just it's want sweet. to give you this HP computer. And they got them a computer. That's They got her a computer. That's impressive. I don't know what kind of allowance they're getting. But I wasn't getting that kind of allowance as a 14-year-old. Girl, I wouldn't even get an allowance. I had a job. My and I was only like, getting paid, like, I think my minimum wage was, like, five twenty five an hour at that point. Mm-hmm. I was girl, you had a job at 14? International supermarkets. Yes, oh, hey, I did. Girl. I was a cashier. Girl, when I was 13 years old, I asked my daddy for an allowance. It was back home in Tennessee. And he said, we have a dishwasher. You're not using the dishwasher to wash the dishes. And you're not getting an allowance because you live in my house. And that's it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you buying a computer? Yeah. Do it. I just thought that was very heartfelt for them to use all that money to get something for somebody else. But then again, they might have just been like, hey, daddy, we want to get mom a computer. 
think? Um, I want to feel like he didn't know anything about it. I want to feel that way. Okay, I'll let you continue to feel that way. They're you, super great kids. You don't think so? That would you? Of course not. Oh. Give me a break. They're rich and their parents have money. Of oh, course, they I'm went so to dad. jaded. I'm like, yay! They went to dad and they were like, daddy, this is what we want to get mom for Christmas. How do you and he feel was about like, this? Great. I mean, in the end, it was a nice idea if as long as it was their own idea. Like, of it's course. great. But you know, whatever. He's wow. like, I had, I had no idea about this. I mean, about the speech that they wrote. At least it was thoughtful. Exactly. Even yeah. if it wasn't their money, it was thoughtful. Yeah, it was so thoughtful. It was sweet. So Albert and Caroline hop in the car yes, in the range. In the rain. Down memory lane. Rolling through the snow oh. and ice. Reminiscing about how love used to be. Oh, when and she they said were young he, and skinny. It's like they were never married because he never got down on one knee. That was sweet. <sighs> Oh, and she said, I used to be 95 pounds. We're like, oh, you ain't no more. Oh, snap, girl. But you're still sweet. And he gave like her a rock. A tremendous rock. We could go ice skating on that after the show. It was enormous. It like, was I thought so hot. Like, the that's rock what, was like my head. That's what I want. One day, girl. One day. Oh, hey. This is my Show fake ring because I was auditioning and I was supposed to be married. So I had to put on a band because I ain't got no diamonds for my ring finger. So cute. You're one like, day. One day. you like, the boy must come correct. Yes. And it must be very nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I second and third. And I'm okay with color, personally. Yellow or pink works for me. Ooh. FYI. Ooh. For all of those boys out there Yellow wanting diamond? to propose to me. I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm about it. I need to be a little bit different. You know? A little bit different. A little bit different. I Anywho, heard that. we're not talking about Courtney getting married. We're talking about the real we might be. in New Jersey. We might be if a certain somebody's watching. <sighs> oh, so Mel Studio. Mel Studio. Back to Mel Studio. You know what? It was huge. We've had enough of her studio. Who cares? She sucks. <laughs> let's talk about how Teresa got gloves. <laughs> yes, let's do that. She tried so hard so hard to say thank you for her like her version of hard to it say thank you it was painful to watch like it, you get that in that jacket too she was like Whoop. i'm just gonna spin this around so you can see me wear it once and i'm gonna take it back in return he was like so you're gonna take it back and return it and she was like why would you say that joe i do not think i've ever taken a gift back to return it i don't think i have either unless it didn't fit like i've tried yeah. to exchange it for another size but i don't think i've returned anything i don't think i have that kind of heart um, well, I kind of do, but for the most part, when people actually give me something I can wear or but fit, like they... You saw that jacket. I thought the jacket was kind of tight. But bajillion dollars. It was like, kind of nice. That's so thoughtful, and obviously he doesn't have the money to be yeah, doing that right now for you, gloves. but he made the effort. Yeah. Gloves to match that big-ass jacket. Uh, and she, what was funny was her trying to like tell the girls, like, oh my God, girls, look, Daddy got me gloves. Uh -huh. and it was just embarrassing. And then she ruined it because she goes and says... No diamonds this year, I guess. I know. Like, I'm like, you dude, you dummy. were doing so well. <sighs> so well. And then Gia goes in the bathroom, pukes, and she's like, smile. And Gia's like, really? Yeah, mom. Really, mom? Right. You serious right now? I know the old pictures of uh, Teresa that I saw online that I can't find right now because apparently our internet sucks in here. <sighs> Looks exactly like Gia. Crazy weird. Exactly. Teresa like as Gia. a child. Teresa as a child is exactly like Gia. Aww, it's crazy, but cute. adorable. Because I, her Gia kids looks are kind of weird, but I, they look kind of weird sometimes. And then sometimes, I'm like, oh, they're cute. She has the prettiest eyes, I think. I, I think they're kind of scary, but scary because they're striking, not because it's exactly. Like, yeah, like, she's very like striking. Daywalkers. Pat we, Lambert would say she was hideous, and I don't think. That's <gasps> true. Well, Patty ain't here, but we do love you. That's why I we hope send you're... him back to the East Coast <laughs> in his little crew shorts. I hope he's uh, tilting his forty for us right now. I know. He, I'm sure he misses us. But nonetheless, Teresa got some gloves and tried to pretend like she liked him. Didn't go so well, but mm. such is life. You know, that's what you got. They're yeah, struggling. You should just appreciate it, though. They like, appreciate, yeah. It's the spirit of giving people. They need to all go somewhere and give to somebody else. Yeah. I would love to see them like down in a soup kitchen or something like that. I would love to see that. Because the, the, the mass consumption in all the households is a little bit. $50,000 for a charity party for Toys for Tots. Is, I mean, the charity part is great. Yeah. The $50,000 part could have gone to that charity also. You know, you could have. And I, I you know, whatever. You're but rich, I'm not you judging. Do, you can do what you want with I'm your money. I'm just saying we all have, yeah. all have options. I don't know. It's just concerning. 
hopefully they are balancing. Obviously, that's what we see on TV, and I'm sure that's for our entertainment. Of course. But hopefully course. they balance. The I rest speak of too that soon out, once in a while. You know? Thank you. Maybe they do things off camera to balance it out. Because it's all about balance. You can spend your money however the hell you want to. It's America. Do what that's you right. want. That's but right. It's not for me to count. Let's hope there's balance. Please. I know. God, please, please. Because Melissa Gorga don't. Mm, she don't rub me that way either. She doesn't rub me that way at all in mm. terms of balance. Mm-mm-mm. But hey, you know, whatever. I'm not mad. Do your Teacher's thing, girl. Own. Your man loves you. He wants to girl. bling you out and get you Rolex. And- I mean, I can't say that if a man wanted to bling me out, I would say, I oh, would no, say, I'm sorry. Yes, baby. Okay. How okay. much do you want and where do you want me like, to wear where do you want- it? Oh, you just need me to look you pretty? You just want me to have the watch on? You got it, honey. Okay. We exactly. Can wear- just watching, Jimmy. Hey. Shoes on the feet. I can do that, too. Some boots on. Whatever works. So... Alexa and Albert. Alexa Ray Joel. Uh, so I didn't even know that uh, Christy Brinkley was a part of that whole equation. That's her mama. Hey, that's, that must looks, be why she's only, beautiful. She looks like Billy Ray Joel. Billy Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Billy Ray Cyrus. I know, right? She looks exactly like Billy Joel, though. She's gorgeous. She's got these eyes. She's grown into it. Because it oh, was really? kind of creepy in the beginning. I couldn't decipher. I was like, when she got on stage, I was like, wait, is this going to be good? Yeah. Or is it going to be great? <laughs> it turned out to be great. Pretty good. Pretty I, good. I was she's excited good about stuff. it. She's, she's doing her thing. And it was really cute to watch Albie be all uncomfortable. I know. He's like, oh, my God. He's like, don't embarrass me in front of my people. So embarrassed. And when he had to throw, I can't remember what he said. And I wanted to remember his little line. He made a little joke or tried to, like, Throw a little line at her, and uh-huh. it fell completely flat. Everybody was like, what did you just say? <laughs> like crickets chirping. <laughs> Somebody save this boy quick. Stat. Albie has no game. It's okay. Does it's anybody right. ever wonder Chris if Albie's gay? Um, has anybody ever wondered that? I actually wonder that about Chris sometimes, but I think that Chris is more attractive out you of the think group. Chris is more attractive? Because I'm a personality more person, girl. If you can make me laugh, that's a key to my heart. Well, there you go. Because I'll be, everybody's like, Albie, Albie, Albie. And I'm like, I And Chris think. is like so comfortable in front of her. I'm like, I want them to hook up almost more. I think Albie might be a little not sure. Well, oh, okay. Well, to be continued. To be continued. And it's no coincidence that they have a super gay friend that they love and adore. <gasps> Who is hot. Who's very attractive. I love Greg. He's so I cute. want to meet some Greg. And that's not to say you can't be friends with gay and straight and not be one or the other. Please don't think that that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying based on Albie's behavior oh, with discriminate. women in the past, he doesn't seem like he's much into women to me. Maybe he's just a shy guy. I feel like he just hasn't come into his acceptance Manhood. of being gay. That's oh. my my. Oh. That's my read. I think it could be that, or I think he could be just a very young man. But he's like twenty five. A very young man, twenty five going on twenty. Sometimes I just poured water on myself. So. It happens. It happens. Would you like some like of mine? Sometimes I'm good. I think okay. <laughs> dribble there. They were talking about Caroline's kiss of death. Can you make yes. pasta? Can you make sauce? Yeah, she was very excited. Oh she wanted gosh. to know everything. But I was like, Alexa, is Billy Joel attached? I'm not sure. Is he? Christy Brinkley is not, right? I couldn't tell you. Because I thought it was sort of a Jewish thing, maybe. Perhaps. But I did not think Italian for a minute. So the whole, do you make sauce? Do you do this? Like, I was like, is she Italian? Like, did I miss that? Oh, we need to look this up look and up. get back to it. No, nah, yeah. But yeah. So anyway, she's still cute. And mm. They could be cute together. Maybe Albie's a little even more uncomfortable because she's so gorgeous. She has a career and his mom is pushing him. I'm sure that helps. Makes you know? Worse. But I agree. I think Chris should get with her. Well, that was definitely the end of and that no, show. No, Billy Joel is not Italian. Okay, yeah. So that's Right weird. on. There's that. I didn't think so. I Does, Car- does Caroline really care? I don't no. know. Maybe she was just trying to be like, do you cook tricks? Okay. Can you feed my child? Okay. Maybe that's more. Can you cater to him like an Italian woman could? Exactly. Because there's lots of ladies that really don't roll with that these days. Because we're new age. I'll clean. My man got to cook. I'll cook all day. Ah, teach me something. (laughs) Somebody else can clean. Because I hate (laughs) cleaning. (laughs) But I'll cook. I love cooking. Cooking is fun. We should have a party. We um deaf with yummy food. Definite. That's going down. So that was the entire show, this this episode. Amazing. But the previews looked fat nasty. Fat nasty. Should we shave that so for predictions? Good. We should. All Let's right. cut to a commercial. And then come back. Booyah. 
Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yes. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. This television and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's Shakespearean. Like you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy... Nucky is a villain. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. Four, two, four, two, I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig no, will come out. That wig. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. And we're back. Oh, yes, we are. are we going right to prediction? Now, Let's do it. We're mixing it up. Oh, real quick. Oh, yes. Before we talk about predictions. Well, this is kind of in line with predictions. Yay. So, obviously, I was looking um, at some gossip, so to speak, and I found something very interesting. Well, Ooh. first of all, um, Teresa apparently got shafted on Dancing with the Stars, and she really wanted to do it. So now she's Aww. bitter about it, and <laughs> they don't want her. They said they don't want any housewives, but oh. there's speculation that they don't want her, not any specific housewives. Well, well. So that's funny. But that being said, they were talking about Teresa, and then it goes on to talk about how um, apparently they're already like taping for season four right now for New Jersey. Really? Which I thought was kind of crazy. Soon. But, I mean, apparently they're going to come back. But I guess since they got rid of maybe D.C., they're going to, like, throw in Jersey. Like well, after sad they about do that. Atlanta. Well, we can talk about that some other time. Oh, we sure will. I did not like to see it all. Mm. Anyway, but that being said, so apparently Caroline is becoming a little tight with Melissa Gorga. Stop it. And Taking her Kathy Wiley. I, they I actually, are getting to be buddies. I can see the Kathy thing because I think she's chill. I, I don't understand what the problem is. I can see them getting closer, but the bonding with Melissa is ah. a little bit sketchy to me. And apparently Teresa has been taking some shots at Caroline in her blog about Stop Caroline it. not really being as tight with all her. Because, you know, Caroline's got like 12 brothers and sisters or something. Yeah, but that's so Teresa right there. And that's a, so her style. And she's taking shots at Caroline about not being so close to her sister and brothers. And and yet she's going to come into this mix and supposedly being friends with Teresa. But now she's like all bonded with Melissa. And apparently Melissa, Caroline and Kathy are like chatting over Twitter and they're all buddy buddy now. So there's some potential drama. Of course, as always. There, coming up. So that's sort of a prediction. But I found that to be a little bit interesting. I think that's very interesting because I did write this in my notes, actually. For the uh, in light of the previews for predictions, like I don't, I really don't understand the Kathy drama. Like she seems chill to me. She seems chill. I think that I think that Teresa feels betrayed by her because of her bond with. Yeah, Melissa. but that is so adolescent. It would be on one hand, but on the other hand, apparently Teresa and Kathy were like this as cousins growing up, and to suddenly like take the side of the woman that is number one Teresa is against her mom Teresa's mom is not happy with either like I think that it was a weird territory even though it is Perhaps. juvenile on some level because in the end I'm sure Kathy was just trying to be nice because mm -hmm. I feel like her spirit wouldn't she doesn't seem like she would be doing that to like be she's like hey there's always tomorrow she, yeah and she's just kind of like let's all bring together and maybe if I stay as the goat and she seems like the person that will want to put herself in the middle all the time and be like I can help I can help I can help and sort of like Jacqueline almost and maybe she put herself in the middle and it just didn't blew up in it her sort of blew face. up in her face. So in the end, I kind of see both sides of it. But it's one of those things like bitch, get over it. Like all of you get over it. OK. But yeah. So what do we predict for next week? <sighs> well, it's the last episode, right? I think it's season finale next week. Is it yeah, already? I think so. Finally or already. I'm like, <laughs> is it finally? Dang it. Please. <laughs> Because I'm bored. Because we need to get to the other jersey. Yeah, but then I heard a rumor that somebody was leaving. From our cast? From, from our this cast? cast. Wow. So I was like, who? And obviously, I'm wondering if now it is Teresa. I think it's time. But I think it Maybe. shouldn't be because that heifer needs some money. No, absolutely. She does need that <laughs> money, girl. Get your hands on it. So I don't know. But next week, I mean, I don't know. What's your prediction? 
I I just want us to all get along. They're so not. I hope that that bar doesn't get shut down due to underage drinking. Yeah, that could be a problem. Ashley needs to get a, a hold on her personality. Ashley is, she is probably a young twenty years old. Next to Kim G, she's probably the most annoying person. Really? Because it's like they both bug each other out. They're almost like Teresa and Melissa. They all bug each other out, but they're really the same exact yeah. people. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah, so Otherwise, I mean, I got no more predictions, more oh, unnecessary drama. I guess uh, Caroline lets them know next week, like, hey, kids and makeup, no fighting up in my house. Yeah, I hope that Caroline is the ringmaster up in that box. He's gonna match. regulate on some hoes, regulators, mount up, and that's it. And that's our show. Well, we love you all. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you. All right, guys, till the See next, y'all next week. Couple of naps, New Jersey. Oh, yes. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.